I am not running for president in 2024. I can tell you that like unequivocally. I've made a commitment to do this job for four years, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Governor Gretchen Whitmer promising to remain in her elected office through the end of her upcoming term. She will begin her second term with a legislature controlled by Democrats for the first time in decades. TV5's Blake Keller has more from the governor and lieutenant governor. I am so grateful to have a second term. Now we have a whole different crowd in Lansing, so I'm excited about what we can do this next term. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer granted four more years in office with Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist at her side and a two seat majority in the State House and Senate. So I think it's important to show up to show that who is in the executive branch of Michigan matters and makes a difference to help open up the doorway for opportunity. The two reflected on a lot of challenges in the last few years, including another election, a kidnapping plot. The public rejected, you know, the the divisive language, the violent rhetoric. And weather disasters, including the 500 year flood event in Midland and Gladwin counties. The thing that's been inspiring has been to see how people respond. So I'll use that, that flood in, in, in Midland as an example. I live in the city of Detroit. There were billboards on the Lodge Freeway in Detroit calling for volunteers for people to drive up and to help people in Midland, Michigan. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. But most important for Michigan's top government officials going forward is putting focus into long term success. This is an affirmation that we're focused on the right things, whether it's educating our kids or upskilling our workforce or landing, you know, economic development and jobs in Michigan fixing the damn roads. We're going to work to deliver for people and deliver relief, you know, I think quickly, whether it's the working families tax credit to make sure that working families who do may need a little bit more help to make ends meet have more money in their pockets. That includes being a nationwide leader in mobility and electrification. And there's proof that's happening after General Motors historic $7 billion EV investment in the state. Michigan has to fight to maintain our leadership role when it comes to mobility. That's exactly what we're doing and we're winning. This leadership is going to help make sure that for the next 100 years that we are helping to define mobility and do so in a way that's accessible and is available to everyone. These are the things that people want and expect us to do and that's going to be the North Star of how we, where we spend all of our energy going into this next term, but I'm excited. Now this new term will be the fourth time in 130 years. Democrats control every branch of Michigan's government. Immediately into the new year, the governor will offer her state of the state address and begin budget presentations. I'm Blake Keller in the studio, WNEM TV 5.